What's going on guys, Aussie here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are reviewing 92 moments Ian Rush and what a card it is but this wouldn't be possible if my guy Mark didn't come out clutch and allow me to obviously hop onto his account and do this review. So I want you guys to go hit him up with a follow on Twitter, his link will be in the description. But before we get into it, if you guys got any prime icon packs from the icon swaps that you guys do want me to open, please let me know because I'll make a I'll make a video of it opening multiple icon uh, packs and pretty much giving everyone a shout out at the same time. But let's get straight into the review. 92 Ian Rush, 90 pace, 90 dribbling, 94 shooting, 82 physical, 74 passing. His stats, his attacking stats are unbelievable. 5 foot 11, a decent height, not meta height, but at the same time, I've used players that are 6 foot and even below that, but, you know, they've all been pretty much decent. Now, high, medium, perfect attacking work rates. 3 star skill moves is probably the biggest downgrade of this card because it is going to make him very readable, and it's going to probably hurt me, and, you know, hurt me a little bit because I personally tried to go 4 star minimum, but it looks like I'm using a 3 star today. Now, he's got a 5-star weak foot, which means I'm going to be able to cut onto that left foot and obviously shoot with it. And hopefully, I get the same animations that if I shot with my right, that I do with my left. Now, he is on the engine chemistry style. He is obviously on 10 chem. Acceleration is 92, 96 sprint speed. I tell you what, this guy will be outpacing centre-backs to left, right, and centre. Shooting stats, 95 attack and positioning, 97 finishing, and 90 shot power. This guy has the finesse shot trait, the outside foot shot trait, the chip shot trait. This guy's got all the shooting traits that you guys want, and it's going to make him pretty much, I wouldn't say unstoppable inside the box, because of the three-star skill moves, he might make him a bit readable, but if he takes that shot, the ball's going to go in the back of the net. It's simple as that. He's got 93 long shots, 94 volleys, and 90 penalties. He also he also has uh, 84 vision, 72 crossing, 81 free kick accuracy, 86 short passing, 68 long passing, and 79 curve. I tell you what, the link I played, the little give and goes, will be amazing on this guy. But the long passing is a whole different story. Let's all be fair now. The long passing could be a bit of a liability. The little over the tops might not be that great. Now, he's got 88 agility, 91 balance, 99 reactions, 98 ball control, 97 dribbling, and 97 composure. Dribbling stats are looking pretty decent. Now, I'm not expecting him to feel like, you know, Messi or even Neymar, but I'm expecting him to feel nice and composed on the ball, taking little touches there, left and right. But at the same time, I'm expecting the drag backs and the ball rolls to probably be his best skill moves. And that could be a bit questionable. Now, he's got 87 stamina, which means up and down the pitch shouldn't be a problem, lasting, obviously, the whole 90 minutes. He has 88 jumping, 95 heading accuracy with the power header trait. Now, that is something you don't see every day, but the headers aren't great this year, so I doubt it will go in anyway, but he will be out headering. I would say six foot one and below. I wouldn't go to the extent of going six foot two. But if we get a corner, I will obviously whip it to him near post. And let's see if he scores it. Now, he's got 83 strength. But I'm not expecting him to body off like Virgil van Dijk and stuff. Because they will obviously have more strength than him. But I'm expecting him to shield off players fairly easily. Now, he's got 76 aggression as well. Which means he'll be winning quite decent amount of 50-50s. But it's not going to make him faster. But that's not going to matter because his acceleration and sprint speeds are already out this world. Now, today I have linked him up with R9, Seardoff, Boateng, and Rio. I've also got the likes of Rooney, Sane, and George Best in the team. I will be using Ian Rush in a 4-4-2, playing him up front with R9. But I also want to try him in that lone striker role, so I will be trying him in a 4-2-3-1 as well. But let's get straight into these games. That's a really good fake shot. Amazing fake shot around the corner. Little pass to George Best, and we do get our first goal just like that. Unbelievable run from Ian Rush there. Just a little fake shot around the corner. Using his acceleration to his full effect there. Little pass to George Best. And I don't think George Best is going to miss from there. Really good goal. Now the one thing we always do that I did actually forget. At the start of all our reviews. We say, we see how agile Ian Rush or any you know the person we, we are reviewing. Just see how agile they are. And they look pretty Ian Rush looks pretty decent on the ball I must say. Little dummy. What a turn. Oh, come on. Have a break at this point. At the right place, at the right time. He was about to make a really dumb run, but I did tell him to come short there. I clicked RB, told him to come short. He came feet. Then all I had to do was hold B to make him do that turn. And it was an unbelievable finish. Cross bar down. I'm telling you, Ian Rush is on a different level. Nice. I liked how Ian Rush kind of stopped there. 
Going to try to dribble around the corner here. Can I get a fake shot? Oh, I'm very, very tough there. But I'm telling you, if he had five-star skills there, that attack would have gone completely different. And I would have made space 100%. But with the three-star skill moves, I am struggling, obviously, to create space just a little bit. That's a really good turn of him. Little drag back to get the angle to hit it with that left foot. I'm telling you, this guy in front of the in front of the goal is ridiculous. He can shoot with his right and he can shoot with his left. The amount of rage quits we've had this video, I really don't understand this. That's unbelievable play. Oh, it wasn't the greatest angle. I do understand. And this is why I have paused it because I forgot to put Suzuko in the right place. I had to actually switch up the team. As you clearly can see, R9, George Best are now on the bench because uh, people are leaving like there is no tomorrow because they see a few, a few icons. Brilliant. Little dummy. Beautiful dummy. Can I get a power shot? Very unfortunate there. Now, it wasn't a great opportunity, I must say. The turn was quality, but I should have probably took another touch, cut the other way, and maybe gone for a finesse. I should not have power, sh uh, power shotted that. That's unbelievable. Oh, come on. The fact that Ian Rush can take that first time kind of shows how good his shooting ability really is at this point. The fact that he's made that little run, as you clearly can see, that diagonal run into that little space so it allows him to just go for that full pelter on his weaker foot that it is obviously five star and it, it literally uses so much shot power and accuracy to fly into the back of the net. Little dummy. Try, take a drag back and it's simple as that. He has the outside foot shot trait, so use it. Why not? It was a perfect situation to use it there. I sent the player for a complete hot dog, the little RB turn, then the drag back to get the angle for the outside foot shot and just go for an easy shot. And it's just like that. We do get a goal and another rage quit. Really good pass from Ian Rush. He has brought out his keeper and somehow we haven't gone round him and got an easy goal. Very unfortunate, but an amazing pass from Ian Rush. He brought out his keeper, and that's exactly what you do. This guy has been passing round the back so much, it's ridiculous. Like, his keeper has literally had more touches than his strikers. That's how annoying it's been. But, no, I'm not going to say it's a good finish, because it really isn't. Let's all be fair. Now, this shot should not be going in. And don't tell me what's on my screen right now, because I have no idea. But, because he's brought out the keeper... It's pretty much a guaranteed goal if I cut back. And it's exactly what I did. And, quote-unquote, it's a good finish by Rush. <laughs> what a chance. Oh, come on, Rush. For me, personally, that has to go in. And some way, somehow, that is probably, I think, the first shot that it was a clear cut that he hasn't actually made it go in. Which, as I, as I said, the shot will probably go in 9 times out of 10 because this is FIFA 20 and the shooting mechanics aren't great. He didn't cut that cut back. Oh, come on. And that is one thing you're going to get from Rush. The fact that he can go with both feet is unbelievable. Now, this drag back, that was a good angle. And the fact that he hasn't finished this or even put it more into the corner, I'm actually quite disappointed. He has a big chance here to seal the deal and make it 3-1. Now, this guy was passing round the back the whole game, passing to his keeper. So, he only deserves one thing. And it's simple as that. Ian Rush being at the right place at the right time. And a beautiful finish shot into the far corner. Is he going to rage quit? That's what you get for passing around the back. It's simple as that. So it is time to review them. And let me say this card is very, very nice. But there is some negatives for it. But there is obviously some positives. Now, 5 foot 11. I wouldn't say it's a negative or positive. Because 5 foot 11 is 2 inches above meta height. But at the same time, I personally don't think it matters a lot. The high medium work rate is perfect. Uh, simply because he makes the runs, he comes short, he's in the right position at the right time, and that is what you want from a striker. Now, the freestyle with skill moves is obviously a negative. He's not going to be able to do the running scoop turn, he can't do the McGeady, he can't do the hill to hill, the good hill to hill. He can do the, the bad one where it goes further away from his feet, but there's no point of doing that one. And... It kind of makes him readable and hard to kind of create space with him. What makes Neymar, R9, all these players so, so good is because they can do this running scoop turn where it is so, so overpowered this year. And it gives you an angle that 
you don't really expect and i score so many of them if you guys don't believe me my foot champ highlights is obviously out and i'm telling you the amount of scoop turn around the corners and instant shots i do is ridiculous and how overpowered it is is so out of this world it's like it's the main way to score in FIFA 20, pretty much. But Ian Rush, the fact that he can't do it is a bit of a negative for me. Now, the first star weak foot is amazing. Obviously, he can shoot with his left, he can shoot with his right. And obviously, I did see the five star weak foot come into play. Pace, unbelievably fast. Finishing, one of the best finishes I have seen inside the box, I must admit. The way he did, does it with so much power, so much accuracy. He's got a finish shot. He's got the, oh, sorry, the finish shot trait. He's got the outside foot shot trait. The guy can literally do everything. Passing wise, the one twos and the given goes were pinpoint, but when it came down to the long passing, aka over the top in the ball, that is something you need to stay away from. Agility. Now, so dribbling. He doesn't feel like Messi or Neymar, but he does feel quite agile on the ball and he can turn it left and right, but it's just not enough to send players. You have to obviously implement the ball rolls or even the drag backs. Stamina lasted throughout the whole 90 minutes, and that is a sight you love to see. Strength. It wasn't one of those ones where he would shift off a player. It was one of those ones where he would hold off a player. So he would use his strength and height to his ability to just kind of, you know, shield someone off so he can have a wide open chance pretty much. Or buy time for himself to see what I can obviously do next, which is always a nice sight to see. Now, aggression, it was weird. He won 50-50s in the important occasions, but the least important occasions, he lost them, which... In a way, I don't really mind too much, but I would love that aggression to be a bit more higher. Now, I have to give this card a rating out of 10, and I believe I am going to give him an 8.5, because I personally can't give a person that has 3-star skill moves, for me, a 9 out of 10. If you guys don't use skill moves, yeah, this guy's a 9 out of 10. Easy. But for me, it's an 8.5. I can't go any higher than that. If you guys did enjoy the video, though, leave a like, leave a comment, and for now, peace.